This is the story of Bruce Jones, who walked in a shadow of hate and suspicion. The shadow of what he was because of his background, over which he had no control. This is also the story of the people who knew Bruce, or thought they did. There were many of these people, and they were different from each other in many ways. I don't know why they let people like him go to our school anyway. And I'm not the only one. My folks don't like it a bit. Boy, my dad made it plain I wasn't to associate with him. How are you going to keep from doing it? Sitting in the same classrooms association, isn't it? That's what I say. There ought to be some way to avoid it. I wonder why the school hasn't kicked him out. I bet he makes terrible grades. Uh, don't get your hopes up on that score. Bruce is a dumbbell. There's nothing the school can do for his... As long as he makes his grades, Bruce will be with us. But I can't understand. It's why he'd want to be with us. Wouldn't he be doing himself a big favor to quit and get a job? No, nah, who'd hire a guy like him? Besides, what can Bruce do? Well, we may as well face it. He's here and we're here and... All we can do is stay away from him as much as possible. The people who knew Bruce agreed that it would be better to shut the door to any efforts he might make to be one of them. That singly or as a group, they should avoid him. But it wasn't always possible to avoid Bruce. Dad. Mom, Tom, what happened? Ed Reeves and Bruce Jones are fighting. But Bruce would make two of Ed. What would Ed want to tackle him for? Well, he didn't. Fred was over there. He saw it all. Oh. Boy, this Bruce Jones was just standing on the corner, and Ed walked by, and, and Bruce charged at him like a bull. Why? What for? Oh, who knows? Gosh. Then he just went away and left him lying there. Not... Didn't even stop to... See if he was hurt or anything. There he is. How you feel, Ed? Uh, Hi, everyone. You okay? Uh, uh, I'm all right. You sure? Yeah. What can you expect with Bruce's background? Golly, this will get him expelled for sure. Don't you think so, Tom? I can't see why Bruce would do a thing like that without some good reason. I bet it's his fault. The apparent case against Bruce Jones was a strong one. He was different from his classmates, so no matter what happened, Bruce was suspected of the worst. Well, I could have sworn. What'd you say you lost? Oh, my green sweater. I left it in here first hour. Right over the back of this chair. Well, it's not here now. I guess I might as well check lost and found. A coat sweater? Yeah. Brand new? Yeah, did you say it? Yeah, I saw it, but I didn't know it was yours. I saw it over the arm of Bruce Jones as he walked out the door. Well, that dirty crook. We can't get away with that. Hey, come to think about it, I'll bet that's what happened to my good pen I thought I lost. Oh, well, they'll expel him now for sure. Hey, Joe. Yeah? What happened to Bruce? Circumstances pointed to Bruce Jones. This is how it always seemed to work out. Bruce was in trouble. Even on the night of the class party... Bruce was to become the topic of conversation. I don't know about you, but I think this is the best party we've ever had. Boy, no, it's right. Everyone's in the mood. Maybe it's because there hasn't been anything tonight to get us out of the mood. And what might that be? You know what I mean. The undesirable element is missing. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing, too. I'm sure glad Bruce didn't come tonight. He's not like us, and he never will be. That's right. Boy. Oh, John, John, the most awful things just happened. What is it? I just called Mother. Oh, it's too noisy in here. I can't turn. Come outside. You can do it. Mother, to tell her I'd be a little late. She heard it on the newscast. Tom and Carol have been in a wreck. Tommy! Oh, my gosh, well, what happened? They skidded into a bridge, and the car caught on fire. Oh, how awful. Were they badly burned? They would have been, if it hadn't been for Bruce. Hmm? You mean Bruce Jones? Yes, Bruce Jones. 
The bridge was the one near his house. Evidently, he heard the crash. He ran out and saw that two people were trapped inside. And that the car caught fire back by the gas tank. Oh. Fire. Well, did he know it was Tom and Carol? I don't know if he recognized Tom's car or not. They say that Bruce Presley tore the car door off by brute force to get Tom and Carol out. He got Carol out all right. But as he was helping Tom, the gas tank exploded. Tom wasn't hurt much. But Bruce was burned severely. I feel so sorry for Bruce. Well, this is a switch. A week ago, you were up in the air about having to go to the same school with him. No matter what I said, I feel sorry for anybody being hurt. Even Bruce. Well, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and act as if this changes anything. Now listen, now. Bill. You're not being fair. After all, Bruce was badly hurt. He didn't have to go into that fire. Probably didn't even know who was in it at the time. Well, even if he did know, Bruce had little reason to risk his neck. Especially after all the mean, prejudiced things that have been said right to his face. I'm a fine one to talk. Why, just a minute ago. Do you suppose there's anything we can do to help? They said that he was on a critical list. Maybe he needs blood. Do you think we ought to go to the hospital and see? Oh, well, there. I'm going back to the party. I wonder if Bruce would want my blood after what I did to him. What you did to him? But he hit you, didn't he? Yes, but you don't know the whole story. I had it coming. I used to needle him all the time. I'd sing that song so he'd be sure to hear it. You know the one I mean. Well, that day I walked by Bruce whistling it again. I guess it got under his skin and he just couldn't take it anymore. Golly, then he didn't just jump you for no reason. I don't think he knew what he was doing. But I did, and I told the principal the whole thing. That's the reason Bruce is only on probation. For that matter, I am too. It's funny. I never stopped to think there could be a Bruce side to it. I just never really thought of Bruce at all. Whoever did. I was ready to accuse him of stealing my sweater the other day, and I would have, but when I got to the office to report him, well, there it was, where he turned it into the lost and found. If anybody else had been seen with it, I wouldn't have worried so much, but because it was Bruce, Because I... it was Bruce, you did what we've all done. We've put a brand on him for something he couldn't help. We'll see how bad it is. This trip to the hospital could be the first step for these students at East High toward tearing down the false barriers which their own bias and prejudice have built. But will it work? Each of these people must find the answer only through re-examination of his own feelings and attitudes. For this is the problem of the individual more than of the group. Bruce doesn't make it, how will I ever be able to face myself after all the things I've done to him? Things I'll never be able to apologize for. Bill was right in a way. This doesn't really change any of the reasons why we didn't accept Bruce into our group. I just hope I can somehow work out a new set of values to judge him by in the future. This is the fellow my folks didn't want me to have anything to do with. I wonder if what Bruce did will make any difference to them now. Will they be able to understand why I have to help him, if I can? I can't help thinking this is the right thing to do. But it is a fast switch. Have I let sympathy head me off into something I won't be able to live up to? Am I just reacting to an emergency? What will it be like when the emergency is over? Bruce won't be any different, but I guess I'll have to be. The thing is, it wasn't Bruce at all. I was the one, neatly fitting people into categories because of where they go to church, or what their fathers do, or what the color of their skin is. 
You hear about other people's prejudice, but you never feel guilty until you realize it's you. You're the one who's prejudiced. What was it, after all, that made these people do the things they did? Was it a lack of understanding? Was their attitude picked up from their prejudiced parents? Or was it simply a matter of going along with the attitude of the group? What is prejudice? And why does it exist? What do you think? Thank you.